Uh, today we're going to be tying the, the Gorman's Caballero egg. We've got a number 8 2499 SPBL hook. We've got a 532nd copper bead. We're going to start the fly with a 140 denier. This is fluorescent pink, but you could do chartreuse or, or fluorescent orange as well. I'm going to start the thread behind the bead, which I've already put on the hook. I'm going to advance my thread back. It's a really good winter steelhead fishing uh, pattern, especially here on the, on the coastal streams. Uh, at this point, I've got my thread back. I'm actually going to tie in a bobbin that I have mounted with uh, a neon chartreuse unifloss. And I'm just going to tie in like I would a thread. I'll advance my thread forward just a bit. And I've got it on the bobbin just so I can wind it a little bit uh, more evenly. So of course, you've got to keep, keep the other side out of the way while you're doing it. And build up a nice little chartreuse butt. Kind of an accent, if you will. I'll bring my other thread back. Tie in that floss. Now I'm going to take in a, a piece of speckled chenille, pearl and fluorescent orange. Again, you could adjust the color a little bit. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different great steelhead speckle chenilles out there. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment. This one's fluorescent orange and pearl. I'm going to lay a base down uh, across the shank, essentially. And then I'm going to go back towards the middle of that egg and actually you know, really get it to be egg-shaped. Might take a few wraps. Lock that chenille down, cut off your tag end. Now I've got some uh, egg veil in milky white, and I'm going to build just a little veil around the front of the uh, egg. So what I've done is I've just pulled out a little hank, kind of pre-trimmed uh, one edge of it, just to make a little tie-in point. I'll go back in, flush it out a little bit. And I want to take this egg veil and I want to kind of wrap it all the way around the egg. spread it with my fingers just a bit just to wrap it a bit more. And you can see I've got some stub ends here. I'm just going to go through, snip those off. And clearly, you know, I've got too much veil on there. I'm going to have to snip that down as well, but we'll just kind of get those tips under control a bit. So now I've got this more or less bailing that egg. I'm just going to take my scissors and kind of touch it to the material. Trim it down just a bit. There go. Build up that head just a bit more. Good finish. There you have a finished caballero egg. Again, great winter steelhead fishing pattern. Kind of see that that bale's wrapped around a little bit. Cool thing.